Hey everybody, welcome back to Wine on RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna go ahead and do a massive security upgrade to the new Montana by adding five Blink security cameras. Remember, if you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. So just so everyone knows, I bought these on uh, like a lightning deal type thing around Christmas. It was a pretty good deal for the five cameras plus a uh, Amazon Echo Show um, 5, whatever I think, you know, it's five inch screen. Uh, but anyways, I bought that for Christmas. This is not a sponsored video. This is just what I wanted to try out for the new rig. Uh, I'll do an update when we've been using this for a while, but I had certain security cameras on the last RV and I had some pros and cons about them. So we're going to try something different on this RV by doing the Blink system and see how it works out. So let's get to the install. Now having five cameras means I have five fields of view that I can try and uh, accomplish on the outside of the RV. So what I'm actually going to try and do is basically do two on each side of the RV, giving, uh, you know, the one in the front will be looking back and the one in the back will be looking front so they're crossing over each other as well as looking beyond the the rv so the one in the back will be looking towards the front of the rv all the way down the side and in front of it the one in the back or excuse me the one in the front no one doing the exact opposite looking in, in towards the back and then camera number five i think i'm going to put somewhere in the front because i can't ever see anything in front of the rv when we're inside the rv obviously i have a very large uh back window and I have cameras inside that look right at that window so I'm not overly concerned about the rear of the RV but I am kind of curious about the front of the RV so I think that's what I'm going to do but let's get to it we're just going to mount these things right to my aluminum uprights for my solar panels and uh, just screw them right to it so let's get to it let's go ahead and open this up and see what all comes in it so we got some little manual all right, this is the sync module, which I believe is what connects all these things to the internet. So that's gonna go inside along with its power and power adapter. Okay, and then of course it came with a bunch of screws, which I'm not gonna use because I'm connecting mine to uh, my aluminum uprights, which I'm just gonna use self tappers, but it looks like these are the little bases. So I gotta check my self tappers and see if they fit through. Uh, I'm not sure what this one's for, but We'll figure it out. So before I even get started on the install, the first thing I did was I downloaded the Blink uh, Home Monitor app and I followed its instructions. I set up an account and then I got the sync, you can see it hanging off the RV back there, the sync module uh, connected to the app. And now I have my cameras all ready. Um, this looks like it's some type of thing for the screw cover, we'll figure it out. Um, but I, again, first I gotta make sure that my uh, self tappers I have are gonna be small enough for this or how I'm gonna mount these to the aluminum uprights. But again, just download the app, follow the instructions right on the app, very simple. So when it comes to adding the camera to the app, you have to go ahead and take off this back screw cover and then use a little tool here to undo the screw. And that releases the entire back panel here which now I can go ahead and add my two batteries to. And in the app, I'm gonna go ahead and scan and it'll scan that QR code and it's gonna add the camera to the app. So let's go ahead and get that done. In the app, we go ahead and click on the plus button in the top right corner and then we click on our camera and then it immediately scanned the QR code very, very quickly. You select the system you wanna add it to. In this case, I only have one, so I add it on there and now it goes through its process to look for the camera and uh, get it set up on the app. Now the camera's added successfully, I can go ahead and hit next, and it just talks about a quick little thing, but uh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the name of this camera immediately, so go into it in the settings and change our name to uh, you know, front door side for this camera, but uh, you, know, you name yours accordingly, and then we're just gonna hit save, and that's it, the camera is added. I'm gonna check the feed and make sure that it is coming up. And here I am. All right, let's get on to the next step. So now we got the camera added to the app. 
uh, that back plug that we took off to get to this screw cover, we leave on. I you know, went ahead and screw this back on nice and tight with the tool. Now what this tool does is actually two things. Number one, obviously can unscrew the back, but number two is the mount that comes with it can either just go straight onto it like that, okay? And with that, you have a pretty decent, you know, angle that you can get out of it, up, down, whatever, side to side. Or you can take this little piece here and you can add it to the camera, okay? So I clicked it onto the camera and now I can click this mount onto here. And now the mount gives it a full 90 uh, option. Now I'm not gonna use that at all, but just so you know, it is an option and that's kind of what that's there for. Oops, just dropped that. Um, but let's go ahead and get this, this one mounted. All I'm doing to mount these is using my two self tappers, just going right through the mount. Again, it comes with a bunch of screws and anchors for you to, you know, attach it to whatever you so desire. Um, obviously, if you are attaching this to like your actual sidewalls of your RV or anywhere that's going to penetrate the RV, you're going to want to be siliconing this stuff, uh, making sure that it's weather tight and, and, and stuff like that. But where I'm putting it is up on those risers up there. Let's see if I can get a spot over this way. Come on. Where is it at? Okay, these, these risers right here, which you can see all the way down, is what I'm using to mount the ones on the side. Um, I mount the front one off of my hitch, um, and uh, let's, let's figure out where I'm gonna put this front door side one. So I got my mount, and I've actually decided on this front one to put it as far forward as I can to get as best angle as I can. So I'm gonna mount it to my channel that I've got in here. check the app and make sure that my angle looks good. That's really all it takes for mounting these things. Two little screws, click it and figure out where you want to go. Again, this is not a review video. I'm going to talk about these cameras as I've been using them for a while. I have no idea how they're going to react as we go down the road. Am I going to lose a camera? Is one going to just come, you know, fall right off? Um, are they just going to move around? And I have to re-angle them every time. Um, I don't really have any clue. Uh, and then the other thing is if I like the angle, if I'm good with it, but it is having that problem where it re-angles every time I drive down the road, maybe I'll just add a dab of super glue to the, to the ball of that mount so that it holds in place. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what, what happens as we go down the road, but let's go ahead and get the other cameras mounted up and I'll show you when we're all done. So we have one camera up here. Uh, that is my rear door camera. It faces the back of the RV and I can see everything behind it. Then I have one camera right up here, which is the one I showed you guys I mounted. And that again, looks down the side of the RV, but from the front point of view, so I can see down the entire front side of the RV, like all this space over here, I can see. Then I have one right here off my hitch. You can see it, it's nice, it blends right in. <laughs> um, so that I can see in front of the RV. I put one up top, just opposite of the other one up here. So that again, I can see down the whole side of the RV on this side. And then the last one I put up in this rear corner back here that then looks again behind the RV. And they basically overlap. These two rear ones come real, real close to overlapping each other. So I can basically see everything behind the RV. Uh, obviously not the bikes and stuff, but I can see that right out the rear window and I usually have that open. Plus I have a camera inside that looks at that rear window, which again, can see right straight, straight through it and see outside. So those are the five Blink cameras I added. Now, I believe I can now view those on my Echo Show that came with this little kit. So I'm gonna go inside and see if I need to link any, uh, or you know, I probably have to go on my, my Amazon Alexa app and link the account or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and do that so that I can view the cameras from inside and see how it looks. Let me show you the inside cameras. Um, I didn't do anything different than I did from the last RV. I just used the WISE security cameras that I already had. So you can see one up there, uh, right there. And that one is looking straight back, which goes straight out the back window. So I can see right to the back window. And then of course I have one right up here that looks the other way throughout the rest of the living room and down the hall of the RV. So that's all I did inside. Now, um, 
I went ahead and asked my Echo Show to show me the front of uh, the front camera and it pulled it right up. Let's see if I can change cameras. Alexa, show me the front door side camera. So at first my Echo in the bedroom tried to listen to me. Now this is waiting for blink and it should load up the front door side camera. There it is. So now I can see the entire side of the RV and that's it. All right, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the security cameras. Um, you can see I still got one right up there. There's also the one on the other side, um, but that's it. The other three <laughs> all came off. Um, the one that I mounted on the front hitch, um, we were parked somewhere boondocking one night and um, I decided to detach it, put it on the side of the truck to look a certain angle just because there were some kids playing. I just want to keep an eye on them from inside the rig. And in the morning, the next day, I just drove off and forgot the camera was on the edge of the truck. It's black, the truck's black. Bad idea, my, my mistake, but I lost the camera. And then the next day, as we were driving, we were going through 60 mile an hour plus crosswinds in Wyoming. And uh, there went two more cameras. <laughs> <laughs> the back cameras just came right off. I have no idea when. Um, I did get a notification on my phone saying that, you know, camera, whatever, has been disconnected. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to find that. I'm not going to turn around on interstate to go back and find a camera. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. The other two have still held on. And we've been through some crazy, crazy high winds. I don't know how those two have held on, but the rear two fell off from high winds. Um, they were pointing the same direction. You know, the way the wind was hitting them should have been about the same. So I'm not really sure why they didn't come off, but they didn't. And uh, that's good because now I still have two cameras, which is still plenty. You know, it gives me field of view down the sides of the RV, but I do still want to replace my other cameras. However, the price of those cameras by themselves, uh, I'm not going to just jump right on. I'm going to wait for a deal. I'm um, just like I, when I bought these, you know, I got these on a super, super killer lightning deal during Christmas time. And I'm going to wait for another deal like that because they go on sale all the time. They're owned by Amazon. So, you know, they're going to go on a crazy good deal. So I'm just going to wait it out. But, uh, other than that, the cameras have been great. Um, anytime we hear a strange noise outside the RV, I just pull up my app, look at the camera and I can see what's going on. Um, if we're in an area that I don't feel comfortable or I wanna make sure I'm recording anything throughout the night, um, I just arm the system and then it will record any motion. And it's been great. We, we've really been enjoying them. Um, but uh, again, the, the fact that a couple of them came off, not so great. Uh, what I am gonna do with the next ones is do some kind of reinforcement with the mounting system to make sure that, that doesn't happen again. That's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Uh, again, I will do an update on those cameras as I'm using them. I might make some modifications. I might move them around. That's the good thing about the aluminum. I can put two holes in the aluminum. It's not going to do anything when I take the hole, leave those holes there if I move the cameras around. So it's not really going to bother me too much. But uh, make sure to drop a like. Leave a comment below. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Why Not RV. Bye.